For over a decade now, I've used three core productivity tools, a to-do list app, a note-taking app, and a calendar. However, what I've noticed over the past few years is that we seem to be entering a new era, the era of the all-in-one productivity platform. I decided to sit down and stress test one of the most promising ones that I've been hearing a lot about lately, which is called Ample Notes. The idea here is to test and answer one single question. Can I manage my entire life in one single app? Well, let's find out. These are the steps I would take to try out any new productivity app. I always like to import some existing notes into any new app that I try. That way I have some content to work with. These tools tend to be kind of a blank slate. So I'm going to go ahead and use Evernote's export feature to export 100 of the latest notes that I created there. Ample Note provides a pretty handy built-in import tool from Evernote specifically and a few other places. So I'm going to go ahead and import those 100 notes into Ample Note as a kind of starting batch of content. One of the most common places that I capture from is the web. Usually I use Readwise for this. This is a service that helps you get the most out of what you read by making it fun and easy to revisit your highlights. And they can be highlights from all your different favorite reading platforms all in one place. By the way, we have an affiliate link that you can scan and get 60 days for free, which is three times more than the usual free trial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my Readwise highlights from different reading sources into Ample Note. Head to the plugin directory, search Readwise, and click install. Next, in your account settings in Ample Note, click add plugin. Then go back to the desktop app, hit command plus O, and then write the sync all command. This pulls in all your Readwise highlights and creates a note for each book or article in Ample Notes. Once the sync finishes, you'll see a confirmation window. The Ample Note interface. How is it designed? What does it look like? How does it work? And I really like this image that is in the getting started guide, which describes an idea execution funnel. A lot of stuff comes in the top, a lot of ideas, possibilities, possible directions. And it's important to capture those things. It's important to capture all of it or a lot of it because you never know what might bear fruit, but you can never and should never do all the things that pop into your head. That's impossible. There's not enough time in the world or in a human life for that. And so there's a kind of winnowing or filtering or prioritizing process that happens where only a small percentage of the information and ideas and tasks that come in the top actually make it to the bottom. Ample Note thinks about it in terms of four stages. The first one is jots, as in jot something down. Those are just quick little things that pop into your head that you wanna jot down before you even know what they're about what you want to do with them. Once a jot becomes a little more organized and refined and you have a little bit more of a commitment to it, it becomes a note. This is the second stage. It's one more step of refinement down the funnel. Often the things that arise in notes are tasks, ideas you want to act on, you want to implement, you want to study, you want to share with someone, you want to go deeper on. At that point, those specific items that you've identified become tasks. That's when they become actionable, when they become something that you can actually execute. And then finally, when do tasks become fully concrete and really dialed in and ready to go? Well, it's when they go on your calendar. And that's the final stage, when you actually have a block of time that is set aside and dedicated to doing that task. So now that you understand the idea execution funnel, this exact concept, this framework is mirrored in the sidebar, in the interface that you see here on the left. So now that I've shown you kind of the basic interface, the real way to put an app through its paces is with a real project. That's where the rubber meets the road. The project I have in mind is something I just decided like this week that I'm going to do, which is a zero gravity flight. I'm becoming super interested in space stuff generally. And I discovered there's this company, Zero G, that has a 747 that does these parabolas. It dives and it climbs in such a way that you experience zero gravity during the flight. This project is a great test of an all-in-one productivity app because it spans so many different things. It spans my personal life, my friends I'll be inviting, but also my professional life, as I might want to use this as a story or a case study or for content for my business. And also it has significant stakes. We're actually going to be entering a 747 and diving and climbing and doing all this stuff. So it's really important that nothing slips through the cracks. 
Capturing information is the cornerstone of every project. For this demo, I'll show you two fast and frictionless ways to capture information. First up is email to note. Head into account settings, then personal profile, where you'll find a unique email address assigned to you. Let's copy it and head to Gmail. Here's an email called 10 really fun things you can do in zero gravity, which a friend sent over to me. I am going to forward this email straight to my ample note inbox. So now here's a little trick. Watch what I do in the subject line, which is I'll add the tag zero G right here. This will come in handy later. So just stay with me. And there it is. The email is now a new note ready to use. Next, I'm going to install the browser extension that they offer. So I want to be able to capture images and text and different screenshots from websites. So there's a company that organizes zero gravity flights. So what I'll do here is I'll press Control Shift A to open the clipper and I get four options. Screenshot, full page, text excerpts or the entire URL. I'll use text for this one. So this one might be interesting and that one too. So yeah, I think that's enough. So I'll have these 10 highlights saved into a new note, which already has a smart title. And this will take some time here. And done. Ready for the organization stage, which I'll cover next. So now let's test organizing. Back in Ample Notes, I'll create a new project note called Go on a Zero G Gravity Flight and tag it as a project. By the way, speaking of tags, in Ample Notes, tags are the main way to categorize notes. Remember, I tagged my email with a zero G tag. Now I can use graph mode here on the left hand side to quickly view my related notes. Very handy. Now back to creating my project. To make my note visually distinct, I go to edit page style, where I can select a banner, an image, a background or a color if I want. Now I need to bring all the information I've captured into this project. To do that, I'll use some help from the AI powered co-pilot chat. To do that, I'll type forward chat in the main body of the project and then select the plugin ample copilot with note. That will bring up this window on the right where I can type at notes to narrow the search, followed by my request. Find all my notes mentioning zero gravity in the title and insert them as links. In a few seconds, the AI pulls up my friend's email, my Readwise highlights and the article that I clipped previously. I hit update content and just like that, all relevant notes are inserted into this project. That was pretty easy. Now we are just about to start planning and creating tasks. So I want my task list to be right at the top of my project. I'll type double hashtag to create a header and call it tasks. I'll type double brackets to create my first task. And my first task will be contact zero G for pricing and dates. Now here's something cool. Watch this. I'll double click the word pricing, press command K and use one of what I think is Ample Notes most unique features, rich footnotes. This lets me hide away any extra details. This will really come in handy in the future. Next, I'll add three more tasks. Seek sponsors, invite friends and family, do core exercise twice a week to prepare my body for what's coming. Now, this is not just a one-time deal. I'll need to do those exercises regularly. So I'll make my workout a recurring task. I'll set the frequency, start date and duration. Hit done and there it is, ready to keep me on track. Now my project isn't just a list of ideas, it's an action plan. It's time for the scheduling phase. To do that, I will head into the calendar on the left hand side here. And what you're seeing here is pretty powerful. Normally a to do list app would be in one place and a calendar app would be somewhere else. And you would have to constantly kind of navigate and copy and paste and synchronize between them. But really, they're closely related what you want to do on the right and when you want to do it on the left. You'll notice that my Ample Note calendar is already synced with Google Calendar, which you can do in account settings. First, I'll filter my tasks by the project tag, which we created before. So I'm only focusing on what's relevant right now. Notice that the workout habit we created earlier is now visible and in red. It indicates that this is an overdue task from yesterday. 
This badge right here indicates how many overdue tasks I currently have, so let's fix it. Because it's a recurring task, when I mark it as complete, it automatically reschedules for next Thursday. Now, as I scan my to-do list, I realize that inviting friends and family doesn't really make sense until I finalize the pricing and the dates. You can't invite people if you don't know when the event is gonna happen. So this is a perfect case for task dependencies. So I'll use Ample Notes blocking feature. And what I'll do is just start typing forward slash block right in the task and select blocked task. It will ask me to select a task. I'll select contact zero G for pricing and dates. And just like that, the invite friends and family task stays hidden until contact zero G for pricing and dates task is completed. So these tasks are now linked together. Next, I will mark find sponsors task as a priority by typing forward slash urgent right in the task field. And watch how it jumps to the top of my list since my tasks are sorted by the task score, which automatically adjusts its order based on priority. Finally, I'll set dates for my two active tasks by dragging and dropping them directly onto my calendar. And here's the magic. When I mark the blocker task complete, the invite friends and family task automatically reappears in my to-do list, keeping my task list clean and my sanity intact. Nice. Now the only thing left is to actually do what I've so elegantly planned. Now it's the time for a verdict. You know, I've always resisted the idea of an all-in-one productivity tool. I felt like I never wanted to have all my eggs in one basket. But after spending about a week trialing Ample Note and putting it through its paces, I have to say there are some really powerful benefits to not having to juggle your different productivity related information across a bunch of different places. Something that I really appreciate about Ample Note is that it's opinionated has strong opinions about the funnel, about the different stages, about where information needs to flow. So you don't have to come up with your own productivity philosophy yourself. You get to use all the experience and all the thinking that someone has done on your behalf, in this case, the Ample Note team, to just move faster to what actually matters, which is making progress on the dreams and the goals and the achievements that really matter to you. If anything you've seen here resonates, I encourage you to check them out. They have a free plan, they have a seven day free trial, and the pro plan costs something like $6 a month. Let me know in the comments which LifeOS system I should try next. See you in the next one.